I just turned into Thanos in my cinematic universe of videos right here, and I'm snapping, and CrossFit HQ is just withering away into the distance. They're like, what do we do? Yo! Today's video will be very Marvel Cinematic Universe style, where I'm gonna take two videos. I'm gonna take Mama Deer, and I'm gonna take First Form, and I'm going to ram those videos together for you into one super video. Before I do the ramming, however, I'm gonna talk to you about my new horse obsession. I wanna buy a horse. I need a horse! I wanna buy a horse because I wanted to go and win the Kentucky Derby one day, so I've been looking into this, and if I wanna get a real racehorse, one that's ready to win the Kentucky Derby, that thing ain't cheap. That thing's gonna cost me upwards of two million dollars to get. So if I wanna save a little bit of money, I go onto Craigslist, I look up horses for sale. I found a guy local who was looking to sell me a horse, and I called him up on the phone, and I couldn't get a hold of him, but he had an address. So I go up to the dude's house, I knock on the door, he opens it up, and I said, hey man, I saw you on Craigslist, I'm looking to buy a horse. And he goes, yeah, I got horses, they're $5,000 a horse. And I go, that's way better, that's so much cheaper than $2 million. And albeit it's not ready to win the Kentucky Derby like the other ones, maybe they aren't pure thoroughbred horses. But I said, hey, the best stories that I've ever heard are about the underdogs, and why not have an underdog horse? If you will, from this random town over in Downers Grove, Illinois, it's gonna be the next big thing, winning the Kentucky Derby. And I go, sure, five thousand dollars. Here you go. Where is it? And he goes, oh, it's out in the field somewhere. And I go, huh? I go, I don't know how to catch a horse. I don't know how to wrangle a horse. I really don't even know how to train a horse. But I figured maybe I could figure it out. But at the moment, I don't trust myself to get this horse into my car. And the dude goes, well, neither can I. But it's five thousand dollars, and there's a hundred acres back there. Go ahead and find it. And then I'm thinking, nah, I don't think I. I think I'd rather not. I think maybe I'll look for a horse that's 30, 40, 50,000 dollars. I'll get that one. Because at that rate, maybe it's going to be in a bar, maybe it's going to be in a stable, maybe it's got that much training, maybe it's got a little bit of a better bloodline than this random ratchet horse out in the woods somewhere. And I don't want to have it run around my backyard and have my dogs be in danger because this horse could be a freaking menace. There could be no saving this horse. So while I can't afford the $2 million thoroughbred ready to win the Kentucky Derby horse, I also don't want the ratchet horse in the woods. I want something a little bit better than that horse in the woods, which brings me right back to the Mama Deer video. You know, the franchise video where somebody commented on one of Dave Castro's weekend reviews and they go, is this true? Are we going to do a franchise? I saw the survey and I go, no, dude, it ain't about franchising. It's about the control. They're never going to use the word franchise because everyone's going to freak out about it. Well, then everyone loses their minds. And then Dave responded to it. And Dave said that, no, never going to be a franchise. And to that, I believe him. But the thing that I think went lost in my entire video right there, while it was all about the survey was that email sent out to the Southeast affiliates. In the email, it was talking about Momentus, that supplement company that is going to be used to help be an additional revenue stream potentially for the affiliates over there. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to control. Because if CrossFit can show to somebody that the affiliates will pick up a potential sponsor, it makes CrossFit more valuable. The same way where when this guy at his doorstop and I'm saying, hey, I want to buy a horse. We don't have horses. He doesn't tell me, oh, it's out in the field somewhere, go find it. He says it's in the stable. And all of a sudden I feel a lot more comfortable spending my money on this horse in a stable than I would if it were out in a field. Stabling the horse to me would have been worth twenty to thirty thousand dollars. So the question is, what is it worth to a company or anything to see that thirteen thousand potential affiliates might be willing to systemize some sort of a partnership with a sponsorship company like Momentus? Which brings me to my other video. That is the one on first form. Because I told you about the way that my idiot brain works. I told you in that video how I look at the scooper size. And if it's a 30 gram scooper and you fill that scooper up with 26 grams of protein, that seems pretty good to me. The way that I look at it, Andrew Hiller, which isn't the way that some people look at it, is I'm getting the most bang for my buck when it comes to protein per scoop. And that means a lot to me. It means I'm not throwing money out the window. For some other people, not Andrew Hiller, they really care about the fillers put into that thing. But if you want to look at that same 30 gram scooper and you have a 20 gram of protein product, you're thinking, okay, we're missing 10 grams. What is in there? And then you look at first form and they've got the creamer powder and they've got the artificial dyes and they've got the ace K and they have all the things that cause indigestion and bloating. And it's like, Hey, that's not protein. It's a whey protein isolate product, but you got all this other crap. And the only thing that I was trying to say is that the president or the CEO or the founder of the company, Andrew Frisella says that it is the best product out there. The creme de la creme, the Rolls Royce of products, but it's very easy to look at a similar whey protein isolate 
with that being this Wolverine one, and you're thinking, this one doesn't have the same fillers that yours does, so this one is inarguably better by using your own metrics of cleanliness and not using fillers. You, first form, are freaking morons. Idiot. And the way that I wanna smash these two videos together is because I can look at this company, Momentus, that is being pushed to the CrossFit affiliates in a way that I think is somewhat showing a form of control. We're stabling the horse, if you will. And while it is still a great horse, there's nothing wrong with the horse. The horse is having the time of its life. The horse is also willingly living under a roof that you provided to it, and it's making it more valuable. So I do wanna read to you that email really quick again, because I think that it was just kind of a, oh, look, an email, but it is an email. Happy Friday to my Southeast affiliate owners. Are you looking to add an additional revenue stream to your affiliate? Have you ever tried selling supplements and it did not work or are interested in selling supplements to your community. Join us for our next U.S. affiliate call on Tuesday, November 14th from 1045 to 1130. As we are joined by Carrie Hare from Momentus, which is the nutrition and supplement partner with CrossFit. I told you the way that I looked at first form, and I told you how I compared what Andrew Fisella says about being the Rolls Royce, the creme de la creme, and not putting artificial fillers into their products, and we disproved that stuff. Now I'm going to go on over to Amazon, because I can't find this stuff on the Momentus website, but for some reason I can find the nutrition label on Amazon. The first thing is if it weren't Black Friday, this thing is going for $54.50 per container. And I go, all right, that's kind of on par at this point. If you go on over to the Momentus website, which doesn't have the nutrition label, it does have the price though. And the price is one-time purchase, $64.95. Now that's getting a little bit up there. $64.95 for one bag of protein. And the next thing that of course that I told you that I look at after the price is going to be the serving size. So it says 43.3 grams per serving. And then you see it's two scoops. That's the biggest red flag. Other than the price, that's our first big red flag is that it is a two scoop product. It is a bag and in the bag, maybe you can't fit as big of a scooper. I don't care about that because I know the next thing, I didn't even have to look down the little list, not even have to like roll my eyes one glance. I knew that the freaking protein content was going to be garbage because in protein powders, what they always do is they figure people go, I want protein. Okay, I'm gonna look at the protein and they're gonna see on Momentus, it's 20 grams. They're like, check, 20 grams of protein. Ha ha ha, that's good. That's what's recommended to me after my workout. But a lot of people skip the number of scoops it takes to get there. So per scoop, you're getting 10 grams of protein. So the red flag was validated right there. And in your 43.3 gram per serving product, all you're getting is 20 grams of protein. And you know where that's going. Where are the other 23 grams? But I don't wanna get into that yet. What I wanna check on first is that no longer are you getting 30 servings per container, per bag, per whatever, you're getting 15. 15. 15 servings per bag for upwards of 65 freaking dollars. That's four freaking dollars per freaking serving. Oh my God. You can go to Costco and for one more, <laughs> look, look at this. You can go to Costco and for one extra dollar, you can get an entire rotisserie chicken, which is, I don't know, let's just say it's 400 grams of protein. What is that? 8,000% the amount of protein for $1 more per serving and it's real food, which is worth talking about at some point as well. But the thing that I skipped over is the fact that you're looking at it. You go, okay, 43.3 grams per serving in the momentous recovery, grass-fed whey protein isolate post-workout protein powder. It's in the same category as the first form stuff, which we said wasn't as good as the Swolverine stuff, but it is being promoted in CrossFit affiliates for an additional revenue source. But Andrew, what are the other 20 Three grams, 23.3 grams in there. Okay, let's do a quick look. Why are there carbs in here? Uh-huh. Why are there carbs in here? Well, let's go down to the other ingredients. We got cocoa. All okay, right, cocoa isn't the worst thing ever, I suppose. Some people might beg to differ, but I don't think just having cocoa is inherently bad. But what I do think is inherently, if not the worst possible thing to have in a product that is being sold to, promoted, and pushed around the members of CrossFit affiliates from CrossFit HQ itself is dextrose and maltodextrin because it's gonna take me three seconds. Look at this, dextrose is a type of sugar that usually comes from corn or wheat. A type of sugar. Fitness in 100 words has right there, eat meat and vegetables, up the see little starch, and no sugar. And this is something that is being sent to the Southeast affiliate owners to be promoted to their members. So you're, you're, you're an affiliate owner, and this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go, yeah, I've always wanted to make more money. Yeah, I'm gonna get this product. And then they're gonna see this Andrew Hiller video, and they're gonna be looking at it and go, oh my God. Oh my God. Not only is this the most expensive protein powder on the market, freaking get, get, get a 400 chickens at Costco for the price of one bag of protein, but now I also have to sell my clients 
fans sugar. I gotta sell my the members of my affiliate sugar because for some reason CrossFit didn't look at this when they said everyone should buy it. I got 500 bags of momentous protein. I gotta sell it. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go out of business. And in the meanwhile, CrossFit's over there like, yep, we're stable in the horses. We're stable in the horses. We're providing them with this product. Thanks, Momentous, for this awesome partnership. And I also mentioned maltodextrin, right? And I know that I used to take maltodextrin when I was a competitive athlete because I needed all that extra sugar to propel me in my workouts. But this isn't about what I do. This is about what CrossFit says that it does, which is no sugar. And maltodextrin is a type of carbohydrate. It undergoes intense processing. And it's not going to say in here that it is straight up sugar like it does with dextrose, but it does say right here that it behaves in a similar way that sugar does when it comes to impacting blood sugar levels. Oh, and look, it even has a higher GI value than table sugar. So it is arguably worse for you than it is to have sugar. And the type of stuff that should be being sent to affiliates to help the affiliate model would be some sort of information to then be given to the affiliates about having a banana after your workout. Because if you do want to say that you do need to replenish some sort of carbohydrate, which you might not. It's like the chicken before the egg or the egg before the chicken, you know, right after that entire thing about having no sugar, nuts and seeds, meat and vegetables and little starch, that whole spiel. It says something about eating to necessitate the amount of exercise that you want to do without increasing body fat. So with all of that stuff said, you think you have a crazy heavy workout. Maybe you have a pound of blueberries because you need to replenish yourself. You have that all along with a chicken from Costco and all of a sudden you're cooking, but it's Freaking insane to me. We're in that survey sent by Mama Deer where Dave Castro, I believe, said that they were aware of it but didn't really have any say in the put together of that survey, which I think is also weird. Didn't come from a CrossFit email address that this actually came from an affiliate rep. So I'm assuming this came from CrossFit to the affiliate rep who then sent it to the affiliates directly. This is directly from CrossFit to the CrossFit affiliates, telling them to get a product that sucks, that is too expensive to be given to the members. And now there's going to be members members all across the world watching an Andrew Hiller video thinking, oh my God, we got momentous in the gym. Why did you do this to us? And it's not going to be on the affiliate owner who's working 80 hours a week. It's going to be on CrossFit and the affiliate owner for putting their faith into CrossFit for giving them something that they should be promoting to their members. But somewhere down this chain of commands, they either didn't care or they didn't take the time to look into it. Just like they didn't know that Jada Coons hated CrossFit. And now he's the freaking head of the affiliates. This, ha, huh, I just figured figured it out. I just figured it out. Jada Coons is a mole. My name is Jada Coons. Well, he's working on the inside. He's doing it with the bar method. Jada Coons is now on the inside of CrossFit. He's like, okay, how do we take this down from the inside? All right, it says right here, no sugar. Um, everybody knows that sugar is bad. And oh, the, this company, Momentous, they snuck some sugar in here. Oh, this is how we're going to get them. Yeah, we're going to start getting them all to take sugar. And it's kind of like that scene in Wanted, that final scene where freaking Angelina Jolie curves the bullet around the entire room. She figures out that there's no freaking rhyme or reason that the way that they're killing people. It's just the fact that Morgan Freeman in that movie is dictating who gets healed where and, he, and it's got nothing to do with the threads and all that crap. It's just Jada Coons over there trying to put sugar in every affiliate on the planet. I figured it out and I did it in 25 minutes on a video that I'm going to try to make 12 minutes and now everyone's going to be aware that they should not be getting Momentous from CrossFit because it sucks. If I had to choose between First Form and Momentous, I choose First Form every day of the week and if you watch the other video, you know that I wouldn't choose First Form if I had a choice in my life. Oh well. In my opinion, I just turned into Thanos in my cinematic universe of videos right here and I'm snapping and CrossFit HQ is just withering away into the distance. They're like, what do we do? And all you had to do was look at the product for four seconds and have somebody up there who understands the methodology, who has sat there and has listened to Greg talk one time. But you chose Jada Coons. I do not possess the one thing required of all 13,000 of you. Freaking morons. Andrew Hiller, out. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it! Nothing is impossible! No! What are you waiting for? Do it!